Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to embed a video from Amazon S3 and make it so that people can actually watch it on your website, which is not something that happens by default. So what you see here currently, we're in one of my demo buckets for my Amazon S3 account, and I've uploaded a short video. If we click on this box on the left, and then click on the Properties tab on the top right, we see the properties regarding the video. And what you can do is first I'll show you how to do it the wrong way, then I'll show you how to do it the right way. So what we want to do is copy this URL. I want to go to our website and you can put it into a page where you want the video to appear. I'm just going to put it into a new page for the purposes of this video. I'm going to call it Amazon S3 Video Testing. And all you have to do is paste the URL of the video into the post. And, and WordPress itself will do all the embedding, add all the embed code that's required to play that video. You just got to put the URL in there. So if we click on Publish, and then click on View Post, and when this page loads, there will be an error when it's trying to load this content. So far we've done everything the right way except for allow permission to actually view this video. So as you can see, this isn't loading. And normally there's also a little error message up here that says error loading content. But it's not playable, I can't push the play button, nothing works. If we go back to our Amazon S3 console, we can fix this. So inside of this properties tab where we, where we left off, we have to add more permissions. Currently, the permission is set so that only I can watch this video when I'm logged into my S3 account and only watch it through my S3 account. And instead of my username in this field, you probably have your username. So we want to click on Add More Permissions. And from the drop down, we want to choose Everyone. And then Everyone can open and download. And then click on Save. Now, if we go back to our website and click on the Refresh button, our video should load, no problem, and be playable just like a normal video. And there it is. We can push the Play button here or the one down the corner. And that's my short video that I use for demo purposes. As you can see, WordPress adds the video material, the video play bar, the video volume, the full screen option. All you have to do is put the URL into your post, allow access to it through your Amazon S3 console, and WordPress does the rest. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share it on social media, Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more awesome videos just like this and check out WPLearningLab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. We'll talk to you soon.